Hello everyone. So today we are going to start a new series, a hardcore series. We're in version 1.20.4. We're going to start it with a world name hardcore. Game mode is going to be hardcore. And our seed is going to be rat dogs hardcore world. World. Let's jump right in. Well, it looks like we got a bit of a rocky start here. Not very many trees. I see the savannah. We've got a, you know, lots of stone around here. But at least we've got... Um, Cows and pigs and sheep. So that gives us a good start. So let's uh, get some wool and some maybe some mutton. Well, I've switched on shaders now because I thought I haven't played with those for a while. And I got my food. I've got my uh, a bed made. So we are ready to go. And I noticed right offshore here, I'm lucky again to have a ship. So we'll go see what's inside there. I don't think so. Let's go see what the other chest has. Ooh, much better. Plenty of iron, some emeralds, nuggets. This should get me started really good. I got off to a great, great start today. So let's see if we can get back on land. Maybe uh, gather some more resources because I do need to build a house so I can get some uh, get some sleep before nightfall. So we have this nice large birch forest here. So I think I'm going to cut down a few of these trees so I can get some supplies and build a starter house. And now, a quick word from our sponsor. Are you tired of people not having a proper title to address you with? Is your dog disrespecting you? If this is the case, then Listenberg Royal Titles is here to help. For a small fee, Listenberg Royal Titles can make you a lord, a lady, a king, or even a queen. Their professional staff is on hand to assist you in every step of the way. They will help you pick out a plot in beautiful Listenburg. They'll give you appropriate title. They'll help you design your royal crest. Help establish your castle on your plot. And file a petition of sovereignty with the European Union. In no time at all, you'll be titled and loved by all. And if you use code KINGRAT at the checkout, you will get 25% off your order. So contact Listenberg Royal Tiles and get what you're entitled to. So I took down a few of the trees, so now I've got enough supplies. And looking around here, I think I'm going to put the starter house over on this corner over here. 
I kind of like it seems to be kind of away from everything up on a little hill. So all I need to do is uh, clear out and level everything off and then I can start building my house. I realized I should actually um, go on a quick walkabout to get a bunch of new resources so I can build my house. And then, of course, it started to rain. It is Minecraft, so it has to rain. And this looks really, really wet with the new resource pack I just loaded up and the shaders I've been using. Ah, those chickens. Those chickens look so good. I was down here doing some deep mining and uh, came across this dungeon. And of course it's full of zombies. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh no, okay, yes, of course. The deadly baby zombie, get out of here, get, get, get. Uh, baby zombies are the worst threat to anybody. So I cleared all that out. I did get a saddle and some other uh, moderate treasures, but really nothing too great. I would expect a lot more, but I'll just have to keep looking. So I'm armed with the saddle. So now I can go and get, look around here and get some alternative transportation, which is going to be these uh, donkeys. Now that I have my new best friend, I can head out and go and try and find a village. Boy, things around here are looking totally different, you know, with this resource pack. I mean, the shaders change things, but then this resource pack really changes stuff. But I must say, I don't really mind uh, the way this looks. I took a bit of riding around, but I finally found a village. Let's head on in here and see what they can donate to my quest. What a beautiful little village they have up here. It's kind of like tucked into the Alps. You got such a great view of all the mountains. Look at that. Well, there wasn't much in that village I could take. Except for the view. The view was something really I could take in. Okay, off to the next. Just taken in the view up here and I found a jungle. And I think I saw a temple down here. So let's head on down and see if I can find more treasures. Okay, that's good. No monsters. Oh, I can never remember the combination for this. I'll just have to keep trying. Boy, really not much here in way of treasure. Uh, take a look at that view. Let's see, a mesa, uh, maybe a desert over there, and we got this big savanna. Let's head on down, take a look, see if we can find anything good. Yeah, there we have a village. Oh, and that's a pyramid. Let's head on inside and see if there's anything good. Well, not too impressed with that. So the loot is, loot could be better. Well, maybe I'll have better luck over here at the village. Wow, look, a camel. Well, this all looks nice around here, but there's really not much treasure for me. Uh, let's see if we have any better luck in this mine shaft. Now that is more like it. Silk touch book. Oh, and some glowberries. Glowberries are always good for decoration. Okay, this is probably a really bad idea. Oh, cool. 
Lots of treasure chests around here. Oh, crap. That's not good. Okay, let me put up a cheat bar here so I can uh, stay safe. Diamonds, cool. Boy, this resource pack really makes turtles look different. I mean, instead of green, they're red. Although this red is more like uh, you see like in pictures in Mexico and stuff with the red turtles. So I don't it looks kind of nice. Well, that was quite an adventure. We started off clearing out all these trees and then I did a bit of running around to gather resources so I could build my starter house. I don't want to bore you with all the details of me placing the blocks and building it, so I just sort of put it together, and we're just going to take a nice little tour. I'll show you show you what I've got going on here. I kind of like uh, this uh, texture pack. It's kind of cool. It's a medieval type theme. So we got our house, a couple towers in here. Each one is uh, separated off with the different types of uh, work we do like this area over here is my library and I don't know this guy just keeps standing up there he won't take a job but he just wants to stand up there on top of everything and cause trouble and we got our library over on this wing or in this tower and then over in this tower I've got my workstation so we have our furnaces and all the different work you know work tables and work benches and then we come into this tiny little courtyard here. And over here is my bedroom. We got my jukebox, got my armor over there, my bed, a writing desk, and then some storage. Oops, I'm getting hungry. Mm-hmm. Boy, those guys are noisy. And then if you go over on this side, we end up with our library, or not library, our kitchen. So we got a nice kitchen area over here, more furnaces, brew stands and that kind of stuff. And then way in the back here is the dining hall. I figured we'd have a nice, nice dining hall here and that should finish up, you know, the, the building. Boy, you can't really see up there, it's awful dark. Oh, it's getting nighttime, no wonder it's dark. Well, that was, uh, I guess I got a lot accomplished on the first day. So we'll come in next time and uh, see where else we can go. Yeah, maybe I'll ditch my Let's Play world and just do this. This wasn't too bad. You do know it's April Fool's, don't you?